I'm George Poveromo, and I'm gonna show you the merits of using Mercury's joystick control for docking purposes. Mercury's joystick piloting provides boats with two to six Mercury Verado outboards, 360 degrees of flexibility to move sideways, diagonally, or even spin on their own axis. It's basically throttle shift and steering, all in one and at your fingertips. Joystick offers four main directional quadrants, forward, reverse, port, and starboard. Simply move the joystick in the direction you want to go. Any fine tuning is accomplished by simply twisting the joystick to the desired heading, otherwise known as yaw control. When in use, a light ring at the base of the joystick confirms its heading by illuminating brightly. A full green ring signifies it's in neutral. The amount of thrust or speed is based on how far the joystick is moved. That is, for maximum thrust to counter and overcome a strong current or wind, move it all the way over. For less thrust, like docking under comp conditions, slightly move the joystick. The adjust setting lets you dial in the power range to be used while joysticking. Of its many advantages, ease of docking tops the list, especially when faced with a strong wind or current. Here's one example of how we put joystick control to work while backing into a slip with both a stiff crosswind and incoming tide working together. Prior to approaching any slip, study the direction and speed of both wind and current as they will be your biggest challenges to overcome. Then upon approaching the slip, use the boat's power to stem any current or wind and slow to a crawl. Upon reaching our slip, we begin backing in using joystick control. The goal is to first reach the windward piling and retrieve that bow line. This was accomplished by simply twisting the joystick and moving it in that direction with just enough momentum to reach the piling. Joystick also enables the boat to ease up to and rest against the piling, giving the deckhand ample time to either secure a line to it or retrieve one. After retrieving the portside bow line, I slightly move the joystick to the right and toward the downwind piling for that bow line. Less momentum was required here as the wind and current began carrying the boat. However, once the bow line was retrieved, I moved the joystick to its port quadrant and at nearly full thrust to overcome the wind and current and center up the boat. I pretty much relied on the joystick to remain centered up until both bow lines were cleated off. I then slightly moved the joystick straight to port, bringing the boat close enough to acquire the port side spring line. Once the spring line was secured, it was just a matter of using a joystick to crab backwards and the port just enough to reach those stern lines and then recentering the boat to take possession of the starboard stern line. That's all there was to it. Docking with virtually one hand and Mercury's joystick control. And I'll leave you with one other docking tip. Once your dock lines have been adjusted, mark them with a strip of bright tape. This way, when returning to your slip, there'll be no guessing on precisely where to cleat the lines.